What if God was not a human-like entity, but rather a force, a light beyond our ordinary comprehension? Today, we embark on a journey traversing the realms of religious texts and scientific research, seeking insights about the divine and its intricate relationship with humanity. We'll explore the concept of God, not as a human form, but as light, a force that pulsates through every iota of our existence, a journey that promises to enlighten and challenge our perceptions. Now, let's dive into understanding God beyond human form. Ancient scriptures across cultures often hint at God being light, an omnipresent force. Consider biblical passages like Numbers 23, 19 and various New Testament references, asserting that God is not a human, but rather light. This interpretation shifts our perspective, prompting us to reflect on the profound implications of praying to a non-human entity. It challenges our spiritual practices, nudging us to go beyond our anthropocentric views and engage with the divine in its purest form. This brings us to the power of light, both spiritually and scientifically. Light in its purest form is transformative. It illuminates, it clarifies, it heals. When we translate this to the divine, light becomes a metaphor for a divine presence, a beacon in the darkness of uncertainty. Its transformative power permeates human consciousness, leading us towards enlightenment. Remarkably, even science, through NASA's research on optical computers and living human tissue in light-based technologies, echoes this power. Light impacts us not just spiritually, but biologically. Understanding this leads us to a small but potent part of our brain, the pineal gland. Often referred to as the third eye, the pineal gland has long been mystified. In religious texts, it's associated with encounters of divine nature, suggesting a spiritual significance. Renowned philosopher René Descartes even called it the seat of the soul. This small, pinecone-shaped gland, tucked deep within our brain, has intrigued scholars across disciplines who recognize its potential role in connecting us to a realm beyond the physical. But how does the pineal gland react to light? Let's find out. The pineal gland is remarkably light-sensitive, but it's different from our regular vision. Unlike the eyes that perceive the physical world, the pineal gland, often termed as the third eye, senses the subtle light, the divine illumination. This sensitivity plays a crucial role in regulating our biological rhythms. In many animals, the pineal gland directly influences their seasonal and daily activities. In humans, however, it transcends the physical, potentially serving as a gateway to spiritual experiences. So how can we harmonize with this divine light? Meditation and mindfulness practices have been known to activate the pineal gland. This activation serves as a bridge, aligning us with the divine light that permeates our universe. Techniques like deep breathing, visualizations, and sound therapy can stimulate this tiny yet potent gland. It's not about reaching an external deity, but rather unveiling the divine within us, the divine that is us. It's a journey of self-discovery and self-realization. Science and spirituality, though seemingly different, converge here. Photons, electrons, pineal glands. All these scientific concepts have a spiritual counterpart. They remind us that light the very essence that illuminates our world, also has the potential to enlighten our consciousness. The pineal gland, sensitive to light, may be our biological bridge to the divine. It's fascinating how science and spirituality intertwine, each shedding light on the other, hinting at a deeper connection we're just beginning to understand. As we conclude, I'd like to share some personal reflections. My own journey of spiritual exploration has been enlightening, to say the least. I've traversed the corridors of religious texts, sought wisdom in scientific research, and found solace in the divine light. I've questioned, I've pondered, and I've sought answers in the depths of the unknown, only to realize that the divine is not a destination, but a journey. The pursuit of understanding the nature of God is a personal voyage, unique as a fingerprint, and with that, we come to the end of our exploration. We've traversed through scriptures, scientific research, and personal anecdotes. We've found that God is light, a light that shines within us, influencing our very biology through the pineal gland. Light, as a divine presence, has the power to transform human consciousness. Through practices like meditation, 
we can harmonize with this divine light. It's a journey that bridges science and spirituality, a journey towards understanding. May your journey of spiritual exploration be filled with light and understanding. Until next time, keep exploring.